been so long since I recorded a video, so I'm probably gonna be weird. Sorry about that. In advance. Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Echo and I'm a little space content creator. For my first video back after my like long break, I thought that I would make a highly requested video. So this is going to be my updated Passy collection. So yeah, I'll just get right on to the video. So here are my Passies. They're inside of a huge acorn. I got this acorn jar thing at Target in the dollar spot section last year, I think. If you missed out, you might have actually missed out, but maybe you can find it on like Mercari or something. This is what I have them displayed in and stored in. And yeah, here they are. All right, thanks for watching, bye. Just kidding, oh my God. Ugh, can you imagine though? I'm gonna start with my mushy passy because it's actually out of the jar. So this is my mushroom pacifier and I think it's technically like a teether because it's got like textured. This is obviously a baby pacifier. I don't really use it so often. I literally only got it because it's a mushroom and also the handle is a little caterpillar. Can you see him? You can kind of see his face like that. Oh, it's so cute. The texture does feel nice on my tongue though. And it's got like a satisfying sound. So that's cool. Here's the second one. And it is again a little mushroom with a caterpillar. But this one is obviously pink. Here they are. So cute. That's good ASMR, swear to God. I love that. <laughs> I got these two, I think, Amazon. I got them from Amazon. The next pacifier I have, I got from Pacifier Addicts, the Butterfly Enigma pacifier. I have done a sort of review unboxing of this pacifier before. It has a very big, like, teat or nipple, whatever you want to call it. It's a pink butterfly and it is super, super cute. I do not like this. It's a little too big for me. I have like a very small mouth, but it's really good for a teether or a chewy, which is what I use it for. The next pacifier I have is one of my absolute favorites. It is the Baby Your Doll Teddy Bear Soother. This one I've also done a sort of review on my channel. This one is so adorable. It also has a big heat part, but for some reason, I think the little indent right there makes it a lot more bearable for me. So I can actually use this as a teether slash chewy, as well as just a regular pacifier. I think this is one of my more expensive pacifiers. It might be the most expensive one I own. I think that it's definitely worth it if you're thinking about getting the baby or doll soothers, specifically the teddy bear ones. This is your sign to do it. You will not regret it. Join the teddy bear cult. Next up is a custom pacifier. This is from Little Moth Shop. My previous, like recent video I posted was a review of this pacifier. Here it is again, absolutely gorgeous. Still in love with it. And as you can see, it is still in really good condition. Next up we have another custom, but this one is from Oopsie Daisy. So here it is. It's another cottage core theme pacifier. But this one has little deer antlers. It's got crunchies. I love crunchies. Now, 
but for the bulk of my pacifiers, here comes little comforts. I have so many little comforts pacifiers. Let's see how many I can fit on one hand. It's like a pacifier pom-pom. This is my superpower. If I was like a superhero, punch people with a passy fist. <laughs> oh my God, pacifist. I don't know what's going on with me. That was a funny joke though. You gotta admit that was a solid joke. So I think this is the creme brulee pacifier from Lil Comforts, I think. It's like a sort of cream color. This is their ivory, I think. I'm gonna put up the corrections because I'm probably not getting all of the names correct. It's a really pretty white color. Next up, we have one of my favorite ones. I believe this color is almond and it's like a soft brown. It's very pretty, very gender neutral. Next we have Papaya, I think, and it is their orange pacifier, obviously. This pacifier is very neon, and I think it's perfect for Halloween. Next up we have this purple pacifier. It's also perfect for Halloween, and I believe this pacifier is called Simply Purple. Um, yeah. So here it is, super, super cute. It goes really well with the orange one. Such Halloween vibes, I love it. Next up is one of my favorite little comforts pacifiers. And I really hope that they make more of this design. It is a marbled pacifier. And I think this one was called Marbled Ether. And it's just so pretty. If you're listening, little comforts, make more marbled pacifiers, please. This one is very, very pretty. It is a candy pink pacifier from Little Comforts. And it is like the prettiest pink shade I've ever seen. This one is baby powder, a soft white color. Um, what I really like about these specific... I'm making YouTube video! Hi! Hi! Okay. I'm making YouTube video! Okay, can we be quiet? Yeah! Okay. I almost done! Daddy just got home. So what I really like about these pacifiers is this, like, these little balls. I don't know why. I think it's like a texture thing. I like how they feel. Next up is this one, and I think this one is called Baby Mint. It is a very soft green or minty color. Very pretty. I don't know why they made the logo upside down on them, but yeah. And my last Low Comforts pacifier is Baby Pink. And it is a very, very soft pink color. Kind of like a pastel pink, I guess. This is it next to Candy Pink, and as you can see, they're very different shades of pink. Pink, 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 pink. Next, I have this plain white pacifier, and it is literally just a, like, generic pacifier. I was thinking of painting this, though. Maybe make it, like, 
cow spots or something. Then I have another basic uh, pacifier, but this one is yellow and it's really pretty. I modified these ones myself. I really like the style of baby pacifiers. I've mentioned that multiple times, I think. So I've learned how to modify them myself. I've got some tutorials. Check them out. So this one is my favorite from the pacifiers I've modded. And if you can tell, it's a snail. And I love snails. So yeah, super cute. I also have this one and it's a froggy sitting on a bird. I really like the purple, the, this purple, it's so pretty. Then I have this little bee pacifier, so cute. I'm very proud of how well I did the modding on this pacifier. As you can see, it's not that damaged, which is amazing. If you've ever tried to mod one of these pacifiers, then you know exactly how difficult it can be to not damage it, so. I'm proud. Next up, I have these two. I'll talk about this one first. This is a, like, teardrop shield pacifier, and it's got a pretty butterfly on it. It is a really pretty pink. And then this is the dragonfly. I like the blue on this one. It's so pretty. This one came from Softer Softer Shop, which is one of my absolute favorite little space shops. So here it is. It's one of my favorite pacifiers. I love it. Next up, we have this fruit salad pacifier, again from Softer Softer Shop. This one's like silly, but it's cute, so. Next up, we have a very pretty tulip pacifier, also from Softer Softer Shop. And finally, we have my favorite 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 pacifier ever also from softer softer shop and it is i think it's winnie the pooh or it's just bumblebees i don't know but it's so pretty pretty sure the handle glows in the dark so this is like the coolest pacifier i have So that concludes my pacifier collection of 2024. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all my pacifiers. Maybe they made you get to know me better. I don't know. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe if you would like to see more. I hope to see you in my next little space video. Bye bye